This is the Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana, where these loud cheering fans have come to watch an exciting Sugar Bowl contest. The crowd is filling up the dome, and we're just about ready for the Florida Gators and the Bearcats of Cincinnati. Up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. And there's the opening boot. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out. Pike drops to throw. He's taken down at the 46. How about the big fellows up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. Nice catch, but that's not going to move the chains. Game early. They'll bring him down around the 20 yard line. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. Here's the option. He gets hit out of bounds at the 26. What a throw for a big game. That is a great... He drops back. And he's taken down around the 38-yard line. Wide receivers. Thompson gets the call again. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. They tried to run the ball for the first down, and they didn't get it. No, sir. You saw it. Four receivers wide. Catches it. Brought down around the 39-yard line. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Three receivers in the set. Fires to his receiver. First down. He was covered and still caught the ball. They'll bring him down at the 30. I'm not sure what happened, but one of the players is hurt. He's with an update. Aaron? Thank you, guys. He was in a lot of pain as he came over to the sideline, but the coaching staff did tell me it's not a tear. He should be back on the field soon. Back up to you. He's in the gun. He has three receivers. Watch the throw, but he's not going to have time. They got him. And that's a defensive end who was able to get him that time. This young kid is like a flash. He's not even 20 years old, and he's making plays like that. It's pretty amazing. You couldn't be more right, Coach. It's pretty awesome when a freshman can work his way through the offensive line to get a sack like that. So we take a moment here. Let's check out the drive summary. Set. Here's a run. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. There's a player injured, but it looks like it's just a stinger. Gets it out. He's met immediately. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. Tebow is in the shotgun. He has three receivers. Back to pass. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. You know what you're supposed to do when you got two middle linebackers. Three wide formation. He throws left. And they make the stop at the 41-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great... Tebow lines up in the shotgun. Three receivers split out. And he's tackled right around the 30. And they get enough for the first. What's interesting? There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Makes the first down catch. Tebow is in the shotgun. He has three receivers. Brought down at the six. Oh, man, he doesn't get the first. Great play by the defense. Incredible. They saw that coming a mile. Field goal units out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. And it's good. So here's the drive summary to recap what just happened. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break, the Gators, six, the Bearcats, nothing. And the shotgun, three receivers split out. Back to pass. He goes down at the 39-yard line. So on third down, they pick up the first and a lot more. When that kid caught the ball, he wasn't thinking about first down. He was thinking touchdown. Wrestle him down in the backfield. From a defensive coordinator standpoint, it can really help out your scheme when you get excellent run support. He's telling them not to run to his side. Yo. 
The kick is up. It's got the distance. And they tack on three points. And now we're going to take a look at the drive summary. Comes to the line under center. Single set backfield. They keep it on the ground and a great tackle right there. Three yard loss there. Shooter, not me. That's right, sweetheart. Don't you forget it. Tebow drops back to pass. Caught. Here he goes. Across midfield. At the 40. At the 30. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 26-yard line. They made the third down conversion look. Out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick toss. He put the ball in there perfectly that time. Well, let me tell you, this kid has impressed me all day. The quarterback in the gun. Running the option. He's gobbled up in the backfield. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. Good thing that wasn't a turnover. I thought he was going to pitch it there. And it sails through the uprights. Let's take a glance at the drive somewhere. Steps to the line of scrimmage. Two tight ends in the formation. Tries to set up a screen for the wide receiver. At the 40. Down the sideline. And he's taken down at the 21. Three wide receivers on the field. The quarterback in the shotgun. Fight to the air on first down. Caught. Touchdown, Cincinnati. The pass was right on target and goes for six. Man, that was a bullseye. Summary. In that in a hurry with a few first downs. Fires out to his receiver. Way to execute. They faced a blitz by both inside linebackers on that play. The shotgun. Evo drops back on first down. Once it all going deep. Tackle at the 10. Coach, you got something for us there? Yes, I do. With that last throw, he's thrown for two tight ends in the formation. The quarterback is in the gun. Quick pass, end zone, and knocked down. And that's just a great defensive play. Hey, this is where you bear down and play tough defense. They did their job there. That score leads us to our drive summary. Shotgun here. At the 31 yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great. Pitch lines this one up in the shotgun with two tight ends. Gets it out to him again. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 38 yard line. A 10 yard gain is in the gun. Empty backfield. Throws incomplete. Bad pass. He missed a guy who was all alone. Man, it's that hurt. the 28. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is... Looks to pass. Can't make the grab. Great play. That's how you make someone drop the football. Chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Brought down at the 50. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in the football. Yeah, I think you're right, coach. The receiver has to go after the football and make the catch. Got it. Lines up in the shotgun. Four receivers wide. Mike drops to throw. And he's to catch those, Kirk. Now, I know the defender got in there to break it up, but there are just no excuses for that. You touch it, you catch it. That always has been the rule. We'll try to go the other way now, and you can see the frustration on the coach's face from here. Come out of a nickel. And he'll just kneel it here. The ball game's over, and our final score on this one. And the Gator, 15, Bearcats, 7. So as we take a look at the play of the game, Lee, what do you think of this one? This is why I'm up here with you guys. Coaching a game like this might give you a heart attack. Florida really got all they asked for and more in this contest. Great job by both teams. Well, folks, that's it for this edition of NCAA Football 10. Our thanks go out to everyone.